Agape. Um, Agape Amen. Love Bible College, Agape Love Deliverance Church. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Saints and friends, we just welcome you. We thank God for you joining us on this Tuesday Bible study. Yes. Kind of chilly here in Milwaukee, but we thank God. Uh, it's been uh, a very warm um, April so far. Yeah. But we give God glory and honor and praise. So we're going to talk about a very important, timely subject. I thank God my daughter, Dr. Sarah Knox, is with me. And we're going to talk about it's time to be revived. Yes. So many people, and I know you'll agree with me, so many uh people, pastors, members, five-fold people, um, because of uh, the pandemic and how it's just been going on and on. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we know people are um, somewhat discouraged. Right. And they're not connecting like they used to because of the uh, social isolation mm -hmm. or just sickness or whatever. Financial challenges. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot on everybody's heart, yeah. their family, um, we hear about people every now and then, almost once a month, someone is passed on. And so there's a lot to be concerned about. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to talk about yes, yes. revival. Amen. And I'm going to ask uh, Dr. Knox, uh, let's pray first, and then we'll go into, uh, I'm going to ask you to talk about revival. Right. right. And what what would, what should we expect right. with God when there's a move of God? Somebody Amen. shout glory. Glory to God. Uh, hallelujah. 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 So hallelujah. almighty and eternal God, we come Wonderful before you Jesus. in the Your righteous soul, name of soul. Jesus. You are the Christ of the living God. Yes, How we Lord worship God. you. Hallelujah. We praise your righteous and glorious name. Yes, Lord. For who is a God like unto thee? Yes, Lord. You're clothed with glory and majesty, dominion, power, and might. Yes, Lord. Now, Lord God Almighty, as we go into your word, we Thank think through our thoughts, speak through yes, our lips Lord. of clay. Mm -hmm. Let it be all of you and none of us, Lord God, yes, as we Lord. share yes, the word and let even your people Sense your presence. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, revive oh, us. Revive us oh, oh, God, for our uh, us us spirit us upon us. us. We need a move. We need a fresh need move, move of your spirit. spirit oh God. So, Holy Ghost, have, have your way. Have thy own way, God. Even this night. This night. And bless God, everyone God. that's listening and those that are going to be listening. Yes, Lord. Lord God, bless homes. Let homes be revived. Yes, let Lord. marriages be revived. Yes, Lord. Even yes, Lord, Lord, let Lord, ministries Lord. be revived. The churches yes, be revived Lord. all over this city. Yes, Lord. All over the state, all over our land. Yes, Lord. And worldwide, we need a move. We need a move. And I oh, know, God. Lord, you have made a promise that you would. Yes, Lord. And so we thank you for it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. All right, Doctor Dixon, we talking about revival and um. One aspect of revival that it, ushers, it ushers into the church is restoration, a time for people to be restored back to God. Amen. We know that the people of God have to be restored. And one thing that revival does, it brings us to a heart of humility, a heart of seeking God. You pour That's out. The key. You're seeking God. Yeah, we need to seek the face of God. And every time I think about seeking God, I think about the mountains. How Moses went into the mountain to seek God, and mm -hmm. he said, "What's that fire burning in the mm -hmm. in that mountain?" He began to seek God, and the Bible lets us know that if you draw nigh to Him. God will draw nigh, nigh to you. Amen. And so well, that's one thing that revival does. It causes us to open up our heart and seek God. And while our heart is open, He comes in and He cleanses everything that's not like God. Amen. Amen. Out of our heart. Praise Amen. God. And that's so true because the old saints, they would, they would have that bucket <laughs> and them paper towels and napkins so that God can do you real good. Yes, yes. Psalms 85 and 6 says, mm -hmm. I, I love this scripture because mm -hmm. in the old covenant, yeah. God uh, worked revivals in both the old as well as the new covenant. Mm -hmm. But in Psalms 85 and 6 it All says, right. Will thou not revive us again? Mm -hmm. Look what it says. Will thou not revive us again? Yes. So if he says, thou, will thou not revive us again? Yes. It means that God, they're asking God to do it again, Lord. Do it again, if somebody Lord. Somebody said, do it again, Lord. Do it again, Lord. Amen. He said, will thou not revive us? Israel, every time they got in trouble, mm -hmm. every time the enemy came against them, mm -hmm. every time they backslid away where they didn't hear God's word, there was no, no word from the Lord, yes. no word from the prophets right, and right. from the seers. Mm -hmm. Then they would humble themselves. Yeah. And they would hear from God. And so they Amen. said, so in Psalms, uh, David says, Psalms 85 and 6, Will thou not revive us again, O Lord? Yes. Amen. That thy people may rejoice 
in thee. Yes. Revival, revival will bring rejoicing. It brings rejoicing. Amen. Amen. And I think that's important, Dr. Dixon, because when people are not revived, they're heavy loaded with sin or or depression. Or they just get dry. Or they just get dry, like a desert. And when you dry like a desert, you can't spring up and praise God. You need some water. You need some joy. That outpouring. <laughs> outpouring, amen. Outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Can you find that scripture in Elijah you mentioned? And then I'm going to go, while you're finding it, I'm going to go to Psalm. What scripture you want me to find? I think it was in Elijah, or was it, I think it was in Eli uh, not Elijah. Um, was it, let me see, was it Ezra? Oh, uh, Ezra? Yeah, I think I it was wrote, I gave you that scripture, Ezra. Yeah, can you find that for me, Ezra 9 and 9? And I want to find Oh, sure, yeah. And then I want to find the scripture in mm -hmm. Psalms 80 mm -hmm. as well. Ezra I just want to kind of lay a foundation All saints, right. uh concerning that. And then we're going to okay. go to the new covenant. Right. But in Psalms 80, the, this, you know, the people of God, they knew that they needed to be revived. Yes. When, how do you know when you need to be revived? Mm -hmm. When you're dry, mm -hmm. you, you it's almost like praise. Is, it, your, yeah. your mouth is just like like you've been uh, chewing on gravel. You're saying hallelujah, <laughs> but it's coming from here and not from here. Right. But right. when you say hallelujah, and you, yes, I mean God. from your spirit, mm -hmm. it's because the Holy Ghost is at work. Amen. Uh, many times when uh, when people are Thank are uh, need you. to be revived, they also seem to have. Mm -hmm. A heaviness yes. that hangs over them, yes. and and they may not be saying mm -hmm. nothing about a trial or test, but mm -hmm. you can sense it. It needs to be broken. They need something. Yeah, yoke be destroyed. Yes, and and burdens to be removed mm -hmm. because revival also removes burdens Amen. and destroys yoke. Amen. But in Psalms eighty, it says in the eighteenth verse, "So will not we go back from thee, quicken us or revive us, and we will call upon thy name." Yes, Amen. Turn us again, mm -hmm. O Lord God of hosts. Mm -hmm. Cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. Yes. And how many times will people get saved? I got saved during a revival. Evangelist Baby Bell from New Jersey came to Greater Holy Temple, mm -hmm. Church of God in Christ, That's February right. 14th. <laughs> Amen. It was a Sunday. Yes. I never forget and I was on my way to Paris, France, but that revival, Hallelujah. amen, and I know you might say, well, revival is for the saints. Yes, indeed it yes, is, but yes. it's also an uh, opportunity for the sinner, mm -hmm. and I was a sinner, mm -hmm. and God saved me. Valentine's Hallelujah. Day, uh, which is February 14th, that was on a Sunday evening, about 7 o'clock in the evening, All right, All amen, right. and I was not only saved, but my soul. Uh-huh. I felt the power of God, and I had never been the same. Yes, Lord. Okay. Amen. I'm going to go over to the book of Ezra. Amen. 9 and 9. Mm -hmm. He says, For we are bondmen, or we were, excuse mm -hmm. me, we were bondmen. We know what we were slaves. Under bondage. Amen. We were slaves. Yet our God has not forsaken us in our bondage. No matter how deep you are in sin, God will save you. Praise God. But have extended mercy unto us yes. in the sight of the kings of Persia to give us a reviving, yes. to set up the house of our God, and to repair the desolations thereof, and to give us a wall, oh, by shot, to give us a wall in Judah and in Jerusalem. So oh, revival will also give you strength to build. Mm, yes. said, even though we're in bondage, mm -hmm. even we're in captivity. God will revive us. He will yes, restore yes, the joy. Yes. He will give you strength Lord to build. What are you working on? Are you mm -hmm. working on a message? Are you mm -hmm. working on a book? Yes, are you working yes. on a relationship? Yes, are you Lord. working on uh, a business? Lord, working on a family? Mm -hmm. No matter, I submit to you, no matter how heavy mm -hmm. things look and how uh, burdensome Thank things are, when you get revived. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's an outpouring and a refreshing yes. that comes from the Lord. Yes, Lord. And, and, and that Peter talked uh, about that refreshing. Yes. That yes, day God. of refreshing that comes uh, from the Lord. Dr. Dixon, that's I'm, right. I enjoy I that. Mom, we're at home. I remember about how that, um, when, who was that? Was, my, my thought went away when you, <laughs> okay, but it'll come back to me. Uh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So revival. Thank you, God. Revival brings an intimacy. Mm -hmm. Amen. A closeness. A coming back. That's why David and uh, even in the Psalms where it said, turn us back. Will you revive us again? Remember Jesus said, draw nigh unto me and I'll draw nigh unto you. Hallelujah. And so when we 
So when we revive, it's because we are seeking a closer relationship. Thank you, Lord. Thank amen. You. It went, had, to, had to rotate back around. I began to think about King David. Amen. When he was young, he said he said he encouraged himself on the in the Lord, and he pat his back, his own self on the back. In other words, he had to be revived. When you revive, you can encourage yourself in the Lord. You can pat your own back and say, "I can make it." That's right. I can go forth. I can go forward now. Yes. God. And revival will always cause you, you to go forward. Yes. Because God is a forward moving God. Mm -hmm. So when He pours out His Spirit, yes. the Holy Ghost enables us, equips Hallelujah. us, uh, auctionizes us Hallelujah. to go forward and do what God has called us to do. Yes, in Psalms 119 and 50, it says, This is the comfort, in, this is my comfort in my affliction. Mm -hmm. For thy word hath revive me or quicken me. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the word of God will quicken you. Yes. The revival will produce the, the word of God. When you're in revival, mm -hmm. it's something about what have you ever been to revival saints? And the mm -hmm. word was just what you needed. Mm -hmm. It's almost like that that evangelist for whether it's man or woman or prophet mm -hmm. or apostle, pastor, whoever uh, when they ministered that word, you were quick and you were yes, made alive. Yes. Some strength came. Yes, help yes. came. Yes. Enablement came. Yes. You said, Lord, I can go a little further. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. revival comes yes, not only to strengthen you, mm -hmm. to quicken you, mm -hmm. to build you up. Remember, the, the, uh, and, and uh, we just read it in Ezra yes. about how if they gave him the ability to build. Yes. So when you are revived, and church, Hallelujah. come on and lift your hand and say, Lord, revive me Lord, again. Revive me come again. on and tell him, revive me again. Lord, revive me one again. more time, revive me, Lord. Revive me again. Amen. Now, I don't know about you, but I want the Lord to give me an outpouring, a refreshing. Amen. I need my hallelujahs and my glory Thank to God Jesus. to be from my heart, not just yes, from my lips. Yes, it restores. And I think, too, Dr. Dixon, that's true. It restores the mind. It restores yes. your joy. It's like everything that you have put down because you were the you were downtrodden, you were low, you were in lowly bars, they say. Mm -hmm. When the Holy Spirit revives you again, all of a sudden you get a second wind. That's right. Like you get a, I can do it, I can run this race now, I got a second wind. And that's what happened in Acts, the second chapter. The Bible said there was a wind. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, that's the mighty wind. Oh, that's the mighty wind. Oh, yeah, God. And filled the place. Mm -hmm. And they began to speak with other tongues. Yeah. The supernatural power of God begins Ooh. to manifest in revival. You know, I, I've been to so many revivals, and so okay. you have too. Uh -huh. And you know, we have seen healings. Mm -hmm. We've seen deliverances. Mm -hmm. And not just at uh, mm -hmm. Agape, but I'm talking about uh, ev other evangelists and pastors and prophets and mm -hmm. apostles where we were in the midst of a high time. Mm -hmm. And I want to say to you tonight, at your church, you know, you mm -hmm. may say, well, I'm not an oh, alumni Lord, of Agape. Lord. I'm not a member of Agape. But oh, I want you to know, if you're listening Lord, tonight, Lord, I Lord, pray Lord. that the Spirit of God Lord, 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 begins to Lord, minister Lord. to you. Yeah, and that your soul will start Lord, sensing Lord, the Lord, presence Lord, of God. Lord, because Lord, when you're revived, you can feel God's Lord, presence. Lord, you can feel Lord, God's Lord, presence. Lord, There's Lord, a story up. Lord, and not a tearing down. Lord, God is going to lift some of you tonight. Yes, God strengthen you tonight. Lord, Lord, God heal you tonight. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. So revival Amen. comes to Amen. not only revive the saints, but Amen. the sinner. Amen. Amen. There's something though, Dr. Dixon. I love old school because it was in the old school where we we didn't let you off that altar till you prayed through. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You, if you don't have no, you not have, if you don't have the ability to speak in tongues, you gonna get a tongue. You gonna you gonna start speaking. Well, we and, don't want we want to have the Holy Ghost. I mean, it's the Holy Ghost. You know what I'm saying? It's the Holy Ghost. But you go, you praying, you just carrying. And they say, tell them thank you, Jesus. They say, thank you, Jesus. Tell them yes, Lord. They say yes, Lord. Tell them hallelujah, hallelujah. Say, feel me, Jesus. They say, feel me, Jesus. So they say, feel me, Jesus. Feel me, Jesus. Feel me, Jesus. Yeah. And, and, and it's like we're not gonna let you go till you pray through. And then they keep praying and praying before you know it. Now I know I can't leave. I know I can't shake it. Right. 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 It, the the atmosphere God. changes it, in the it church. Changes the it changes in the family. Hallelujah. We're going to look at that in the book of Acts. Yes. So, yes. so saints, come on, go with me. I hope you have your yellow marker so yes. you can write these scriptures down. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let's go to Acts, the third chapter, mm -hmm. and look at the 18th and the uh, 19th verse. Mm -hmm. Starting at, we're going to do Acts 3, 18, 19, and 20. Mm -hmm. You want to read for me? All right. It says, but those things 
which God before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets that Christ should suffer, he hath so fulfilled. Okay. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So revival Amen. brings times of refreshing. Yes. So it, 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 revival shouldn't just be, you know, uh, I was saying earlier to Sarah that revival can start any place, any place, anytime, any anywhere, time. in the back of a barn, like mm -hmm. in Azusa. Yeah. Uh, it could be in the back of a barn. Mm -hmm. It could be uh, in the field somewhere. Yes, yes. I mean, the, I the old know. slaves used to sing songs in the, and while they were picking cotton. And every now and then the Spirit of God horse shot Hallelujah. will come in those Alabama fields, those Mississippi cotton Wonderful. fields. Wonderful. Amen. And they will worship God. So revival Wonderful. can start any place, anytime, anywhere. Go and on. I'm reminded, the acts of miracles, the acts of God shows up in a, in a revival. And I remember we weren't at church that day. We were at Grandma's house. You know, yeah. And at that time, and her knee was hurting or something she was saying. Yeah. And one of her grandchildren got up and he got... Some soda. <laughs> a little cherry soda. You use that cherry soda. And, and, oh. and a four year old said, I anoint your knee. He was only four years old. He anointed his grandma knee because he had been to revivals. Yes. And the spirit of God was still on that baby. Boy. You see how God was moving through the elders. And so he said, I took this shirt. I anointed your knee. He anointed his grandma knee. And he said, her knee was healed. <laughs> he was four years old, my little nephew. Four year old little prophet. <laughs> so look at that 19 verse that says, Amen. Repent ye therefore, mm -hmm. be converted, that mm -hmm. your sins may be blotted out. Mm -hmm. And one thing about revival, yeah. if there's been any sin, there's a washing, there's a purging, there's a cleansing. Yeah. Look what he said, yeah. when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Yes, Lord. So revival comes from the presence of the Lord, yes. and he shall send Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. which before was preached unto you, mm -hmm. when the heaven mm -hmm. must receive until the times of restitution mm -hmm. of all things, mm -hmm. which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets yes, Lord. since the world began. Amen. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Amen. I want to go over here to the... Um, Okay, that's Acts 9. Let's go to Acts the 8 chapter. Acts 8. Okay, I was going to find out. Okay, all right, go mm. there. So there's a refreshing. Revival brings refreshing uh, to your spirit. Yes, it brings Lord. a refreshing to your heart, yes, to your home, to your marriage, to your church. Mm -hmm. Amen. When revival comes and fills you, yes, Lord. it shifts everything. It shifts everything. Amen. In the fifth verse, oh, I believe the angels, Father, I just felt that. I felt the angels, they come down in the midst. It's like they come here. Of reporting for duty on assignment here, you know, they come and they report, I mean, the angels of God, to administer to whatever you call forth, hallelujah, in the spirit, praise God, and then at the fifth, um, yes. sorry, the fifth verse, yeah. it says, then Philip went down to the city of Samaria, and preached Christ unto them, and the people with one accord gave heed yes. unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. Sound like a revival to me. That's a revival. Keep on, keep on. <laughs> do it. For unclean spirits crying with loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them and many taken with palsies and that were lame were healed. Glory to God. And there was great joy in that city. Revival. Hallelujah. I, I submit to you. We'll bring the joy. And what do we say about the joy of the Lord, saints? It is our strength. Amen. Somebody mm -hmm. said the joy of the Lord is my strength. It's my strength. So revival will produce in you, Hallelujah. amen, the strength that you need to keep going yes, forward God. and doing what God has called you to do. Yes, Let's God. go to Acts, the 16th chapter. Amen. 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 And I, I pray tonight that Whoa, you are filled us God. in the Spirit. Uh, Holy, Holy Father, Holy Spirit, have your way. Have your way. Holy Spirit, Holy have your way. Have your people, even those, those that are listening, Lord. Yes, those Lord. that are with us even now. Yes, I pray Lord that the God. spirit of revival Hallelujah. will take all oh, God rest upon us. That when we go back to our churches on Sunday, yes, Lord that God will be on fire. Yes. And our revival starts. In fact, we are in a spring revival yes, Lord. starting this Saturday, yes, 2.30, Lord. Dr. L. Uh, Elder, Doctor. Dr. Elder Evelyn Nolan will be preaching. Yes, that's two thirty on this Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, which is April the seventeenth. Yeah, Doctor Knox on this. You are revivalist on Sunday. Yes, at twelve thirty. So yes. come, y'all. Yes. Y'all not yes. having service at your church, mm -hmm. and you just want to get in the presence of the Lord. You're more than welcome. Glory Amen. Because revival. 
Amen. is breaking out. Amen. 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 So read Amen. that starting at the 25th verse. Okay, 25th. Acts, that's Acts 16 and 25, y'all. It says, at, at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them, and suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. My, my. And immediately all the doors were open and everyone's bands were loose. Revival will loose. The, the, the revival. The Spirit of God will break the chains, loose the bar, bonds. Break the chains. Amen. It will cause a shaking and a moving in yes, your life yes, and in the Lord. life of your loved ones. Keep Hallelujah, on. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Amen. 27 says, And the keeper of the prison awaking out of his sleep and seeing the prison doors open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself supposing that the prisoners had been slain. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. But Paul cried with a loud voice saying, Do thyself no harm. For we are all here. See, revival will give you wisdom. When your soul is revived, yes. you don't want to see anybody uh, mm -hmm. under the gun, so mm -hmm. to speak. Their life threatening because yes. of what God has yes. done for you. Yeah. Paul said, no, we ain't went nowhere. Amen. Re revival will keep you in the position that you need to be in until God gets ready to do something else. He'll shake the situation around you. He'll shake the circumstances around you. He'll change the atmosphere. He'll shift things out the way. He'll move the unclean thing. He'll move that demonic activity. He'll bind Satan, the demonic spirits. And you know what? When that, when, when they realize that Something had something miraculous had Yes, happened. Lord. Oh, that God. Roman soldier. What did he say, Doctor Sarah? What did he say, Sarah? What well, verse you? Uh, I'm about to go over the chair by but what you said. <laughs> All right, the 29th verse. To, okay, uh, the, 20, the 30th verse. Okay, he says, and brought them out and said, "Sirs, what must I do to be saved?" Okay, now that's what I want to get to. Hallelujah. When revival comes, yes, see, God. revival is to revive the church as well. Mm -hmm. But there's something about an opportunity. Yeah, there was. This was a mini revival. Right. This was uh, an impromptu move of God, mm -hmm. and I tell you right now, even when God, not, you know, even look like it, just, they, they feed us in stocks, y'all. Yeah, they wanted yes, the crowd yes, around. Yes. As a matter of fact, they were closed up in prison. Mm -hmm. But that, even though they were bound, the Spirit of God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on and say, the Spirit of God is never bound. The Spirit of God is never bound. The Spirit of God is never bound. They, they have their feet in socks, but they were singing. So what, what, how do we bring an usher in the Spirit? Thank you. How do we bring an usher in revival? Glory well, we gotta take, let's take a note from, from Paul. And, and Silas. Mm -hmm. They, they, even though their feet they were bound. Right, right. Look what it says mm -hmm. in that 24 verse. They were they thrust them deep into the inner prison. Mm -hmm. They made their feet fast in the stocks. Right, right. In the dungeon. Mm -hmm. But at midnight. At midnight. Hallelujah. Change at midnight. <laughs> Paul and Silas oh, prayed. Jesus. You talk about revival? Yes, There's sir. something about your prayer language. Hallelujah. Something Jesus. about your prayer language. And they Hallelujah. sang Hallelujah. praises Hallelujah. unto God. Remember when the praises go up? The praise, the blessings come down. God in heaven, so what? Praises of His people. Amen. And so Hallelujah. they ushered in. Yes, Lord. That prayer. Because remember, they had just mm -hmm. cast that demon of div divination out of that mm -hmm. the young woman. Mm -hmm. And in the midst Thank of you, all of that, Lord, God was moving. Thank you, God. They say praises unto God. Yes, Lord. I love that song. Hallelujah. We are standing on the holy ground. Yeah. But you may have a worship holy song God. that God has given you. And when you worship and you yes, worship Lord. in the spirit of truth. It ushers in. Hallelujah. It ushers in them. Yes, and Lord. the prisons. Thank you, Jesus. The prisoners heard them. Hallelujah. So God, Amen, took that opportunity. The Spirit Hallelujah. of God Jesus. that said yes, somebody. Else. It wasn't just mm -hmm. Paul and Silas who all stopped. Right, all right, all right. But the Spirit of God wanted to set those Hallelujah. Roman prisons, those Gentiles, mm -hmm. those that were in, in chains in their mind mm -hmm. in their, mm -hmm. and in their life, the bondages that they were going through. Yes, not yes. hearing. You know, uh, basically, Jesus breaks You know, and that's what happened. Jesus broke the feather. He broke the feathers. He broke the stocks, the chains off of Paul. Yes. And, so, and somebody said, what must, look what it says here. All right. Sirs, what must I do? Mm -hmm. He made it personal. Yes. To be saved. Yes. And yes. what they say in that 31st verse. And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. And when they spake unto him you, the Jesus. word of the Lord, 
until all Paul took that as an opportunity to preach the gospel. They spayed him and Silas began to minister. A, a, a little impromptu revival. Yeah. Amen. Go yes. out. In the jailhouse. Yeah. You talking about jailhouse rock. Yeah. Oh, God rocked that prison all right. Yeah. And they preached the gospel. Mm -hmm. And then what happened with those Roman, those Roman soldiers in that 32nd verse? That okay. 32nd, read that and 32. they spake unto him the word of the Lord uh -huh. and to all that were in his house. Go ahead. And he took them the same hour of the night and washed their stripes and was baptized. He had all, all his straight way. All of his kin folks mm -hmm. kind of sound like what Cornelius did. Mm -hmm. Amen. But this was an impromptu. See, Cornelius had to sin for Peter. But amen. This, this was an impromptu revival. I was at Walmart one time and the Spirit of God came upon me and said, go minister to that lady. She had a big basket full of uh, groceries, a uh, mm -hmm. grocery basket. And the Lord said, minister to her right now. Mm -hmm. And she said, I needed that. He said, lay mm -hmm. hands on her mm -hmm. and rebuke stress. Mm -hmm. And she said, you just don't know. Mm -hmm. What I've been going through, that ain't nobody been. And I was at Walmart. Mm. But many times at all these, or wherever I can find yes. people, the Spirit of God move on you. Yes. You allow Him to use you. And look what it said in that 31st verse. Uh -huh, and uh -huh. when He had brought them into His house, yes. He said, Meet before them, rejoice, mm -hmm. believing in God yes, with God. all His house. Yes. Everybody in His house. Oh, God that was a Roman soldier. Yes. That Lord. was holding the prisoners. Yes, Lord. Because of a re impromptu revival. Yes. Revival. Revival. Oh, you had a scripture. You know? Yes, Daddy Dixon. What came to my mind is, a, like you just said, like the woman that was burdened down even at the Walmart. And many times in revival, you've seen it over and over and over. I've seen it. You've seen it. We've all seen it. Yes. And this is what Jeremiah was boasting about in Jeremiah's Jeremiah 20th chapter, the ninth verse. I want to start there, 20 and 9. It says, Then I said, I will not make mention of him, yes. nor speak any more in his name. But his word was in my heart as a burning fire. Hallelujah. Set up in my bones. And I was weary with forbearing, and I could not stay. In other words, he was on fire. Even though he said, I'm not going to mention his name. I'm not going to testify. I'm not going to do anything in his name to give him glory. But... He, he, he could not constrain himself. It was the Holy Ghost through the fire of God that that, that ignited his spirit, and he couldn't fall out of, out, out of love with God. You know, it was like he was having a God spell in the midst of what he was going through. But it was like I don't know why I'm excited. I don't even feel right now like praising God. But that's what revival does. It takes you out of yourself. Out of your emotions, out of your feelings. That's right. You get caught up in the spirit. In the and spirit. What the spirit of the Lord is. There is what? Liberty. So revival. Amen. So if the enemy has had you like you've been yes. in a dry spot. And you feel like your hands have been in yes. shackles. Remember Mary Mary that song? What's that song? Shackles on my... Take the, shack take the shackles off my feet so I, I can, can praise them. I can dance. Amen. I can praise them. Amen. I just want to praise them. I just want to praise them. Hallelujah. <laughs> so revival. So don't be surprised when the Spirit yeah. of God begins to move and you, yeah. you, you're lifting up holy hands. Yes. Without wrath, without doubt. Mm -hmm. You're magnifying the God of your salvation. You're glorifying yes, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 And you're blessing His righteous name. You know why? Yes. Because when you revive, right? Revival means to make a lie. Yes, yes. Revive. 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 Amen. To quicken us. And I want to, amen. Just like that. And I just want to mention another thing about the word. Like Jeremiah was saying, it was like a word. And it's because, you know, he had to, oh, but Ezekiel had to eat the roll. But Jeremiah said it was like fire. But I begin to think about those two words, logos and rhema. Yes. In revival, a lot of times you won't get a rhema word, but you'll get the logos word. And the logos will work. It'll work. <laughs> you have to do nothing. It'll just work on its own. So while the preacher is preaching an unadulterated word of God, it's working. The word works. And whatever word you need, if it's a healing, if it's a deliverance, if it's a salvation, the word would work. And then God sometimes put a stamp of approval by coming back and put a rainbow word on it. Prophetic word. To let you know, I see you. <laughs> So, Saints, oh my God. we're getting ready to let that you go, but good. I want you to come if you can. It's this Saturday, the 17th at 2.30, and mm -hmm. then Sunday, and I know some of you listening, you're going to be at your own services, mm -hmm. but I want you to mm -hmm. just carry that spirit of revival. Yes, yes. Pray through. I want to pray through. Pray I want to say to speak to someone. God told me to invite you. I don't know who or where you are, 
But just like when I was a young high schooler, coming out of high school, I was going uh, four hours a day for high school. That was in my, I think my senior year. And we had New Day Prayer with the, with the revivalist. He was doing uh, a prophet. I'm going mention the name. was doing a revival at Holy Temple, Church of God in Christ. And I was walking from the bus stop down to the church. And as I was walking down the street, I heard someone say, Sarah. Just like that, somebody said, Sarah. And I looked around and said, who is that? And the close I got to the church, the door had like double doors. And when I got to the doors of the church, it was boom, 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 boom. Sure did. And the prophet said, woman of God, I absolutely. <laughs> he can't whatever he had to say to me. I see God through death and soul. And doesn't say God has a word for you. And he knows your name. So come. Glory to God. Come. Come. And, 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 and like, like they told me. Come uh, Just with come. a spiritual hat, yeah. a spiritual galoshes. Bucket. Let God rain <laughs> on you. Amen. Because the rain Amen. is going to fall. It's gonna there fall. shall be an outpouring. Performance. And there shall be a performance. Yes. And, and you know, where you've been burdened, God's going to lift you. Amen. When you've Amen. been burdened, Amen. Weak, God's going to make you strong. Amen. If Amen. you got illness in your body, come believing. Believe. That with his stripes, we are and we were healed. We were healed. Lord, hallelujah. And, 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 and just a, a lack. Remember, he is Jehovah Jireh. Yes, God. He is your provider. And your family, your husband, yes, those yes, grandkids, those uh, mm -hmm. sons and daughters, yes, those cousins, yes, aunties God. and uncles, nephews and nieces. Thank you, God. Bring them all. Amen. Come with expectation. We're, we're so so distancing. We got room enough for all Thank you, God. Bring your masks. Thank you, Jesus. We got hand sanitizers. We want social distance. Jesus. But most of all, we want the Spirit of God to fall fresh. And come with expectation. You got to write down and tell God what you want. Amen. Come believe him. Watch when he do it. And Hallelujah. come expecting. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody yes. shout glory. Glory. Revive my soul. Revive my soul again. Revive me again. Lord. Revive, me again Lord. Lord. Revive, me again Lord. revive me again, Lord. Hallelujah. Revive me again, Lord. Hallelujah. So almighty and eternal God, 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 we bless your righteous name. Yes, We're God. believing for your yes, full God. manifestation yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank of you, your glory. Yes, the revival Lord. will usher in your Thank presence, you. usher in your glory, do it, do usher it. in strength, yes, Lord. usher in healing, yes, Lord. usher in deliverance. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Lord God, there's a building up and yes. not a tearing down. Yes, Lord God. So Lord God, we pray for a move this on Saturday, yes, Father. this Saturday and Sunday. Yes, Father. And God. we give your name. All the glory. All honor. Yes, Father. And praise belongs to you. Yes, Lord God. In the mighty matchless name of Jesus. In Yeshua's name. You are the Christ of living oh, God. Bye -bye. Be glorified. Be thou glorified. Amen. Until I'm until we meet again. Mm -hmm. May the joy of the Lord be, be your strength. Your strength. God Amen. bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus.